Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. You guys have all heard it before. The human eye cannot see any more than, insert random number here, 30 FPS, 60 FPS, whatever the case may be. We are here today to put that theory to the test. We have a BenQ 2420 TX 120 Hertz LCD monitor. And just for this episode, we are gonna be doing a special Pepsi challenge where we take the average gamer, yo, Slick's friend Harrison, and get him to tell us whether the system is set up at 120 hertz or 60 hertz to find out if he can tell the difference. Now, while we may have sourced the average gamer for this particular test, there's nothing average about the gaming system that we're using. Check this out. This is our test bench system featuring the Corsair Vengeance C70 case. We also have the all new MSI Big Bang M Power motherboard. Remember, that's the hand tested board that every single, every single motherboard gets tested 24 hours, Prime 95 in a hot environment and a liquid cooled CPU. Okay, we've got the GTX 680 Lightning Edition also from MSI. Powering it is a yellow matching OCZ ZT series 750 watt power supply. And yes, that is Crucial Ballistics Tracer memory on there to make the whole thing look ball. And we've got a Be Quiet CPU cooler just showing that even with air cooling, we can get this uh, Core i7-3770K running the latest games, well, you know, pretty decent, pretty decent. I mean, what's it at? 84 FPS right now, Battlefield 3, 1920 by 1080. Good stuff, good stuff. So we've also got a Corsair M90 keyboard, K60 mouse, and of course the BenQ 2420TX. This is the setup that he'll be using. So it is fully capable of pushing more than 60 FPS to the panel. You can see actually if I look around, there's gonna be lots of opportunities for that frame rate to jump around. And we are pretty much ready to go here. Okay guys, we are changing up our format a little bit here so that there can be no cheating. We are doing five run-throughs with Harrison as one shot here. So this is gonna be a little bit long, bear with me. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tweet this. The first five tweets that come back to me that say 60 hertz or 120 hertz, those are gonna be our five settings, okay? Then, in between Harrison trying to play this game, he's never played Battlefield 3 before, he's never used this rig, he's never used this monitor. This is a controlled experiment as far as it goes, except that we only have one participant, so bear with me. I mean, we're on a budget here, guys. Okay, so I am tweeting it now, and we are going to see what people say. Now, he's gonna play for a little bit, then he's gonna go back around the other side, I'm gonna change it, and he's gonna either hold up this sign or this sign, depending on what he thinks, the screen is running at. Now the screen's running at 120 hertz and then we, we're changing the game settings. So it's fully capable of either of those settings. So here we go. Here are the, okay, you guys are doing this wrong. So here's the first, here's the first four tweets. So I'm actually gonna change, um, I'm gonna change runs. Okay, you, you, guys, you, guys are, you guys are killing me here. Okay, focus on this because this is just brutal. Are you focused? Come on guys. Okay, so I'm, I'm, okay, you know what? I'm gonna use these five, these five. Okay, we all got this? All right, so let's change our settings to the appropriate setting. There we go, we're good, you can see we're on the right thing. Okay, now, I have not given Harrison any limit in terms of how long he's allowed to play before he makes up his mind each time. So we're gonna go back into the game and off you go. There's no fraps counter. He's got nothing to go on here, guys, other than just sitting down, playing the game, and seeing what he thinks of how it's running. And he should probably uh, right click. There you go. There you go. So now you can move faster, I think. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So here, he's never played before. So you got to go. Uh, you got to go in here and like cut the thing. So focus on whether you think you can see a more fluid. Uh, press E. There you go. Focus on whether it's a more fluid experience or, or whatever you think is going on here. And just hold up the sign as soon as you're ready. No pressure. Okay, okay, so there we go. We have our first try. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get him into, uh, into a little bit of a different sort of spot because it's, it's, this is gonna be tough if he doesn't have some uh, 
something going on here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to change the settings. Okay, right? Remember guys, I showed you the five settings that we're doing. So save settings, yep. Return to game. All right, so there's dudes to kill over on your right. Come on over. This is a trial number two. He's going for headshots. He's not as average as he made, his, made himself out to, uh, out to be here. Okay, okay, he's going with the same, he's going with the same answer here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to change the settings. And I accidentally opened the console, it's okay, we got this. Okay, so we're going to go with, I'm just clicking, I could be just clicking. So he doesn't know if I'm actually changing it or not. Okay, go back. Yep. Return to game. Okay, run number three, here we go. And I'm trying not to get, friendly fire will not be tolerated, he wasn't even there. Games. What do they know anyhow? Remember guys, this is as blind a taste test as there can be. It doesn't get more blind than this. He has no idea what's going on. No experience with this gear. Oh, okay, that time he shot his ally. So he's gauging the responsiveness, the, uh, the overall fluidity, the feel of this gaming experience. Okay, he says this one was 120 hertz. Interesting. I mean, it might be interesting, it might not. We don't know, actually. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna either change it or not change it. He doesn't know what's going on. Okay, okay, so we're doing some, doing some clicking here. We're making sure that the game's ready to go. All right, yeah, we wanna keep these settings. Yeah, we wanna keep these settings. Return to game, okay, you're up. This is sort of interesting to me too, actually. So I'm just discussing with Slick over here since we're, uh, we, we, know the, uh, we know what's going on, but uh, he doesn't. Okay, you gotta go down the stairs that are right in front of you there. We might have to do a follow-up episode to this. This is quite interesting. And not for any particular reason that we're gonna tell Harrison yet, but what does he think? Okay, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do our last run. I'm going to set the settings to whatever they're going to be. Okay, apply. Yep, okay. And we are returning to game. Okay, last run, guys. Last run. Sorry, bear with us here. You can cut off my voice when you're editing if you want and see if you can do some time lapse of, you know, us switching chairs or, or not. You can just Slick's giving me the, sh the head shake, so he doesn't think we should do that. That's fine, that's cool. Okay, uh, you're done this scene, so go to the left of the van there. Go around it. Yep, go down the, uh, go down the stairs on the left there. Love that ram, it's just like going crazy in there. All right, so here we go, guys. We're gonna do the conclusion right as a wrap up. Thank you, Harrison, very special guest and all of that. So I'm gonna go stand behind here. We are gonna have to do a follow-up episode. Can Linus tell the difference in a blind taste test? Because he only got one out of the five right. So what we have determined is that the average gamer well, you know, assuming he's an example of the average gamer, cannot tell the difference. For those of you who couldn't read the tweets, maybe you were watching on your phone or whatever else, it was 120 hertz, 120 hertz, 120 hertz, 60 hertz, 60 hertz. Now, I thought it was interesting that when the action got really intense in that third one was when he seemed to notice more fluidity. However, there was lots of action in the fourth and the fifth run that he did not seem to see any benefit from 
Like it seemed to feel fluid to him anyway because he thought he was running at 120 hertz. So fascinating episode. Like I said, I think we might do a part two right now of Can Linus Tell the Difference? So we'll do the same kind of a, of a random mix. Thank you for checking out Can the Average Gamer See the Difference Between 60 Hertz and 120 Hertz? And don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.